With the All-Star break in the rearview mirror, it's now time for the final sprint to the finish line of the regular season, starting with the longest homestand of the season, which begins tonight against Vegas. Hi everyone and welcome to Game Day brought to you by your Alberta Ram dealers. Brendan Parker getting you set for the first of a seven game homestand for the Calgary Flames here at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome starting tonight. And as a goaltender Jacob Markstrom put it yesterday, as a player you'd rather play games than practice. And it's a good thing because in the next 80 nights the Flames will play the remaining 840 games of their regular season schedule. And it starts tonight against the Vegas Golden Knights. Here's a look at the matchup. The first place team in the Pacific Division rolling into town playing the second of back-to-back -back games in uh, ter terms of Vegas. They won last night over the Edmonton Oilers, a shutout victory, so they'll look to make it back-to-back -back -back wins coming out of the All-Star break, second meeting of the season between these two teams. And for the Calgary Flames, well, let's take a look at uh, their first game back after the All-Star break. They come in winners of three consecutive games going into the break, five of their last six games, but most notably is the fact that they'll have an opportunity here on home ice to really work themselves into a bit of a rhythm. Seven consecutive games on home ice starting tonight with the first of back-to-back -back games against Vegas. Uh, it, it's almost like what it was in 2013 when we came out of the lockout where we had to play 48 games and in, in seem, seemed like 90 days or whatever it was. And it's, it's really, that's when you really got to like condense the schedule within and, you know, take it a game at a time or, you know, uh, a week at a time. And, and if you look, we, we play three times a week here for the next couple of weeks before we, uh, before, uh, before it turns into four games a week. So, uh, yeah, I, everyone's kind of in the same boat here to, to get it all done. And, and uh, yeah, it's, it's fun. You got to make the most of it. And, you know, we start off with a divisional rival, so we got to hit the ground running here. Time now for who to watch, starting with the visitors and forward Brett Howden, who's caught fire as of late for the Knights. Howden has goals in three consecutive games, including last night in Edmonton. In fact, seven of his 17 points this season have come in his last five outings. And for the Flames, Blake Coleman, he too has caught fire offensively a little bit as of late for the Flames, coming off his first multi-goal effort as a member of the club. The first-year Flame has four points in his last two games and became the fifth flame to reach double-digit goals now sits at 10 on the year, just a little over the halfway point. In terms of the lineup tonight for the Calgary Flames, got to see the whole group skate this morning at uh, morning skate, and line rushes would indicate the fact that uh, they would go with the same lineup we saw before they went into the break in Arizona, and why not? It was successful then. We'll see if it is again tonight, and that includes the goaltender, Jacob Markstrom, who looks like he'll start right out of the gate between the pipes for the Calgary Flames. As far as Vegas is concerned, of course, they played last night. It was Laurent Brassois that got the start and the shutout, so fully expecting we see Rob and Leonard in net for Vegas here. 7.30 start here as the Calgary Flames return to home ice. First game out of the All-Star break. Should be a fun one. Post-game show, by the way, is live after the game along with Corey Sarch.